everybody, this is Helen Saturiatis with a quick tip for Photoshop. In my previous video, I showed you how to quickly make an image brighter, darker, or increase its contrast with a tool called Blending Modes. This time, I'm going to show you how to limit the areas in which you want to apply the change. As before, you're going to need your layer palette, so press F7 if you don't have it on. I'm going to experiment on a traditional glass of tea that I shot in Izmir, Turkey. I intend to lighten the area within the glass a bit. First, I'm going to duplicate my background layer and then go to my blending modes and select screen. As you can see, I've lightened my entire image and it looks pretty awful. But that's okay because next, I'm going to hide the effect and allow it to appear on the tea only. I'm going to select my new layer then click on the third button on the bottom of the Layers panel. This is the Add Layer Mask button. As you can see, next to my layer, Photoshop has created a white thumbnail of the new mask. When this thumbnail is white, the effect is visible throughout the image. To continue, I'm going to turn off the effect throughout the image. First, I'm going to make sure I've selected the mask thumbnail. Then, I can go to the pull-down menu and select Image, Adjustments, and Invert. Or I can hit Ctrl-I on a PC or Command-I on a Mac. The thumbnail switches from white to black and the effect is now off. With layer masks, white shows the effect and black hides it. The great thing about this is that you can use your brush to paint various areas black or white to selectively apply your effect. To make the T only brighter, I'm going to select my brush tool or hit B on my keyboard and make sure I have white selected in the foreground. I can switch back and forth between black and white by hitting these little arrows or by pressing X on my keyboard. Now I'm going to use my brush to paint in the effect on the T. If I make a mistake and brush in an area that I don't want, I don't have a problem because I can switch back to black and paint over it again, and then I hide the effect. If the effect is too strong, I can always pull back by lowering the opacity of the layer. I'm going to check my work by turning the layer off and on. Off, on, off, on. That was easy. I hope you enjoyed this tip. See you again soon.